morning, my dear students. My name is Adhine Sharma, working as physics lecturer in one of the reputed institution, and I have around 25 years experience as a physics lecturer. Okay. So today we are going to know one of the important concept for all competitive exams. Okay. Mainly for NEET, mains, MSET, and other competitive exams about center of mass. Okay, so in order to know about center of mass, let us take some small examples. Okay, so here I have taken one rickshaw, it is going in one direction. Okay, linear you can say. And this is one dog playing in the garden, rotating around itself. So rotatory motion. And another kids were moving in a swing oscillatory. And this dog moving randomly playing on the garden. Okay. And this boy is practicing. Okay. And another four people were standing on the ground. So they are at rest. This one moving in a straight line you can say. Okay. So it is oscillatory. You know this one rotatory. And this dog playing randomly. Okay. Just imagine that all the four are taken on the same platform and say the platform started moving. So can you able to describe the body motion? So you know when uh, this is oscillating, we say it is oscillatory. And you know when it is rotating, rotatory. This is moving randomly. Okay. And you know this one in a straight path. No. So just imagine that all are moving, then you know it's very very difficult to describe body motion. So in such cases, we are using a concept called center of mass. So the main purpose of this is to describe body motion when inside the body particles are undergoing different kinds of motion. Okay. Now we'll take another example that is projection of this Indian club into air. So it is containing three bodies, cylindrical, spherical and half spherical body. So you know when it is projecting into the air, you know this will be rotating and flying in air. So it's very difficult to describe its motion. So that is why we are first finding its point of center of mass. See this is the point of center of mass. So it is actually when you are projecting into the air now, so it is going in parabolic path like this. Okay, so whenever inside the body particles are undergoing different kinds of motion, we always try to find the point at which the entire mass of the body is concentrated. Say if it is going translatory, we say translatory. Say if it is oscillatory, we say oscillatory. Now, you should know how to find the coordinates of center of mass. Very simple. So, let us assume there is one body containing two particles, light, light and heavier. Okay. So, this body center of mass we want to find. So, what we supposed to do? Just imagine that this body coincides with origin or else you can take at some point just attached to the plane. So here you can notice that first particle is at a distance x1 from origin. Second particle is at a distance x2 from origin. And you know in between them or it may be outside. So there is center of mass. So that you want to find through our coordinate system. Okay. Now aim of this is to find coordinates. Okay of center of mass. So what we supposed to do? Just attach the body to the plane. Okay. X axis, Y axis. First particle mass say M1. Okay. Second particle mass say M2. Okay. Separated by a distance R. 
Okay. So first particle with reference to origin at a distance x1. Okay. And you know second particle is at a distance x2 from origin. Okay. And you know center of mass say xm. So the point of center of mass in between them from origin is xc. Yeah. Okay. So you know center of mass will be always closer to the more mass body. Okay. Always it will be more close to more mass body. Okay. So we can say this uh, center of mass is always inversely proportional to distance. Okay. Or you can take MR product is constant. Okay. So we can write M1 R1 is equal to M2 R2. So today based on this formula only we are trying to solve all type of problems. Okay. So M1 as it is. Okay. About this particular distance. Say first one is R1. Second one is R2. So this particular you want. Total XCM now. This is x1. So you can write xcm minus x1 equal to okay m2 into about r2. You know this part. Total x2 na minus xcm. Okay. So when you simplify, you get one formula. That is, you know, xcm is equal to okay m1 x1 plus m2 x2 by total mass of the body nothing but you know m1 plus m2 okay so we are now going to solve all problems based on this formula only okay how very simple let us suppose there are there is one body containing two particles two identical particles means having equal masses joined by a massless rod okay so now you want to know the point of center of mass so what is your question two particles of equal masses are joined by a massless rod and you want to know the point of center of mass so you know this will be attached to the plane right but over here you know the two particles are given equal masses identical in other way you can say uniform mass distribution no mass is equal right so whenever masses are equal instead of m1 and m2 you will put m na so you get m into x1 plus m into x2 by total mass 2m in this case right so m m cancel na you get x1 plus x2 by 2 right so this is the point of center of mass that means suppose if these two are separated by 10 centimeters you can say phi is the point of center of mass from first one or second one that means you can say geometric center gives center of mass when when masses are distributed equally okay now we will take another example. Let us suppose four mass particles having equal masses are placed at four corners of a square. Four mass particles are placed at four corners of a square plate. Okay, this plate is having, let us assume, negligible mass. Now you want to know the point of center of mass. Why you are finding the point of center of mass? You know very well when inside the body particles are undergoing different kinds of motion you will be knowing the point of center of mass thereby you can describe body motion. Okay. So here you know geometric center. Suppose each are having equal masses say 1 kg, 1 kg, 1 kg separated by say 10 centimeters means each side 10 centimeters. Okay, so you know this is a square plate you have taken. Okay, you know diagonal distance will become 
10 root 2. Why? Because each is 10, na? each side is 10 units. Then you know diagonal distance will become 10 root 2. So half of that will become 5 root 2. That means the point of center of mass is exactly from any side 5 root 2. Okay, say if this is uh, moving in parabolic, we say it is parabolic. Okay, if it is linear, we say linear. Okay, if it is oscillatory, we say oscillatory. Okay, so the main purpose of center of mass is to describe body motion and inside the body, particles are undergoing different kinds of motion. Okay, now instead of equal masses, say you have given unequal masses. How to find the point of center of mass? Okay, so very simple. So I am using same formula okay, to find the coordinates of center of mass. Okay, now you have taken a square plate, okay, having four particles of masses, 1 kg, 2 kg, okay, 3 kg and 4 kg, okay, side length 10 centimeters, okay, now you want to find the coordinates of center of mass, okay, so very simple, attach this body the square plane okay to plane then it will be very very easy to find the coordinates of center of mass okay just imagine that this body is coincides with plane okay now you see 1 kg is at origin okay and you know 2 kg is on x axis 3 kg is on xy plane and you know 4 is on y axis okay like this origin okay 1 kg is at origin you know 2 kg is on x y plane right 2 kg is on x axis 3 kg is on x y plane 4 kg is on y axis so you know mathematically when a point is on x axis it will be having only x coordinate so this is on y axis so it will be having only y coordinate but this is this 3 kg mass body is on x y plane now so it will be having two coordinates 10 10 okay x axis y axis x y plane now you know all the four coordinates. So earlier we have taken only two particles. So our formula is only for two particles. Now there are four particles. So you have to extend your formula to m2x2 m3x3 plus m4x4 okay by you know m1 plus m2 plus m3 plus m4 okay. So in this way you can extend your formula okay so now i am going to solve this problem with four coordinates okay so again i am writing the formula in order to find the x coordinates okay so you know xcm is equal to in case of four mass particles okay m4 x4 by total mass you know m1 plus m2 plus m3 plus m4 okay so first body first particle mass 1 right so 1 into corresponding distance 0 plus second particle mass 2 corresponding distance 10 plus third particle mass 3 corresponding distance 10 plus fourth particle mass for corresponding distance you know 0 okay by total 
mass you know 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 okay so 20 plus 30 by 10 na so 5 units over here you have given in centimeters then you take it as 5 centimeters it is about x coordinate now in the same way you can find y coordinate okay how same procedure same formula you know ycm is equal to okay m1 y1 plus m2 y2 plus m3 y3 plus m4 y4 okay by total mass nothing but you know sum of all the particles na? now substitute first part uh, first particle mass 1 corresponding distance 0 okay plus second particle mass 2 and distance you know 0 okay third particle mass you know 3 and distance 10 plus and you know fourth particle mass 4 and corresponding distance 10 okay by total mass of the body okay so 70 by 10 cancelled 7 units okay so what do you notice when you have taken unequal masses 5 centimeters from x axis 7 centimeters from y axis at some point you can say okay 5 from x axis and 7 from y axis so that is the point of center of mass say if it is going parabolic we say parabolic okay translatory we say translatory so in this way it's very easy to describe body motion inside the body particles are undergoing different kinds of motion okay now we will take another problem okay <coughs> let us consider one equilateral triangle okay so i have taken one equilateral triangle of three particles okay one two three each side say 10 units now you want to know the point of center of mass okay i have taken three particles to a triangular plate of negligible mass okay now how to find very simple attach this body first to plane okay so if you notice 2 kg mass body is at origin okay and you know 3 kg is on x axis 1 is on x y plane okay so if you know the coordinates it is easy to find the point of center of mass okay so here only three particles that means our formula is now extended to only three particles now see i am just trying to use same formula for all problems okay so we are trying to avoid more and more formulas when we are going to write a competitive exam you try to learn limited number of formulas and try to solve all problems okay now now to the same plane you are taking a equilateral triangle okay so this is our plane x axis y axis triangular plane we have attached to the plane okay 1 kg 2 kg 3 kg now so this is at origin no doubt you know coordinates will be taken 0 0 and you know it is on x axis so having coordinates only 10 comma 0 why because it, it is on x axis but it is on x y plane now so it will be having two coordinates now this is height half of the distance so i said it is equilateral okay so in case of uh, equilateral you know all sides are equal now so 10 10 10 so half of that okay so x coordinate is 5 and you know y coordinate is its height now height you know 
root 3 by 2 a yeah, that is you already studied in previous classes about the height of equilateral so here it is 10 now divides pi times so it is nothing but you know phi root 3 now you know all the three coordinates of this equilateral triangle body right so you can substitute in the formula okay so xcm is equal to okay now first one let us assume one okay so one into its corresponding distance five plus second one two distance zero plus third particle three distance corresponding coordinate ten no by total one plus two plus three okay now five plus 30 now 35 by 6 units it is about x coordinate okay so 36 by 6 you know 6 so less than 6 no more than 5 now ycm you know first particle mass 1 corresponding distance you know 5 root 3 right plus second body mass 2 and distance 0 and third particle mass 3 distance 0 okay by total 6 so you know it is 5 root 3 by 6 that means center of mass half of that is 5 now so more than 5 and at a distance from uh, around y axis 5 root 3 by 6 is the point of center of mass okay so in this way it's very easy to solve any problem okay instead of this you may be given sometimes two particles also for example carbon monoxide okay like this or hydrogen chloride okay so such problems also we can solve how For example, you have taken carbon monoxide. Okay, you have given distance say 10 units, distance between carbon and oxygen say 10 units. Now you want to know the point of center of mass. So you know center of mass is always closer to more mass body so m1 r1 equal to you know m2 r2 na so first body mass take in carbon you know carbon mass 12 into corresponding distance say x okay equal to oxygen you know 16 number 8 weight 16 no into remaining distance say total distance of separation is 10 now so you know if this is x the other one will become 10 minus x right so 10 minus x 4 times 3 times okay so 3x equal to 40 minus 4x so 7x equal to 40 so x equal to 40 by 7 this is i am taking with reference to with reference from carbon reference from carbon remaining 10 minus of that so in this way it is easy to solve any problem related to this center of mass okay so if you like this video please like video and share to many students okay thank you thank you for watching this video